Don't forget your stick, Lieutenant. Rather, sir. Wouldn't want to face a machine gun without this. In the early days of World War One, it is surprising to recognise that the sword was actually seen as a viable tool of combat. Yes, in the war that brought you the machine gun, although there were Gatling guns before that, heavy use of artillery, the tank, the biplane, indeed, at the start of the war, the sword was seen as a viable choice. This is, as they say, it. I'm afraid so. The British Army had an extortionate number of junior officers killed in the war. And in the early days, it was possibly seen that when you're leading your men and you've got this great big hunk of metal shining high above, you might be a bit of a target for those with the ability to snipe or shoot. But that didn't mean it wasn't seen as a symbol of power. It wasn't seen as a symbol of status. Indeed, looking back on some war diaries, for example, Corporal Charles Drucker, I could see that they were about six to one against us. And also by the shouting, I could tell we had a very rough lot to deal with. Men hunched their shoulders and used their bayonets. There were cries of all descriptions, groans and curses. But the part that I'm asked to write about, that's when I saw Lieutenant Birch about four yards from me. He was slashing about with his sword and I was using my bayonet. He turned towards me for a moment and I saw his face. He was quite cool and he had a nice smile upon his lips. It's tough to assume exactly when the sword went out of fashion, and indeed there's many contrasting and conflicting viewpoints on it. It's assumed late 1914, early 1915 is when the sword became less popular in England. And the fact that British officers would have had to purchase their own equipment, it's quite likely they would have sent them back home. You hear some stories about how they threw their swords away, but when you bought something, you don't tend to throw it away when you can just post it home, surely. The diaries from a Captain Burgoyne Reed, 15th of December 1914. I'm very glad I didn't bring my sword with me, no one carries them. Though a few of the mounted officers still have their swords, now rather rusty in their saddles. It further reads, 20th of December 1914. No officers are carrying their swords here. Only an encumbrance in a charge. I hear the Huns don't often wait, and if they do, well, a big stick, a revolver, or the butt of a rifle is equally useful. Uh, there is an image of the British officer carrying the swagger stick or the cane into the battles as well and in a way if they did it would be more camouflaged and less visible than a shiny sword high above the melee but as with all things it's probably more fantasy than reality I mean why would you when the revolver is just as good and if anyone knows the British army especially then they didn't exactly conform to norms an officer carried what he wanted and a wise one often carried the rifle. So, the British Army used swords at the start of the war, but not for long. Good luck, everyone. Ah!